if we have a whole you know, generations of residents and you know physicians and MDs in training coming through their education program and they're not being exposed to clinical trials, what does that mean then when they become practitioners in the field? And what is their awareness of running trials or how do they incorporate that into their treating of treatment of patients? And so like what is the impact of excluding clinical trials from residents' training programs on how clinical trials are incorporated into you know practice down the road? Yeah, it's a good question. I know there's, I, I've seen at least a couple of like movements to help, you know, train doctors early uh, to get involved in clinical trials. Because frankly, I mean, I worry because clinical trials are not getting easier right. or better, you know? So <laughs> I feel like a lot of the reason that, that some of the doctors do it now is just because like they've been doing it. They've sort of been through enough. But like if you're coming in fresh as like a young, new newly out of school physician, you're probably like, nah, I don't want to do that. It seems like a problem that's going to perpetuate itself as far as access to clinical trials. If you have community physicians who aren't aware of research, never were engaged with research, they're probably not going to consider research as a, an option for any other patients. And so you're missing out on massive portions of the population of patients who aren't going to be exposed to trials because their doctors is just not part of their world.